Hello everyone, this is SM72, Nick from 2 Mad for Gaming, and I'm back for the next episode of Let's Play Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. This is episode 2, we're going to finally actually start playing the game. Last episode was basically the tutorial where uh, the AI did most of the talking, so anyways, here we go. We have Jimmy Neutron in. Jimmy Neutron in. Blast off. All right, here's where the fun begins, folks, and the hilariousness, I guess. Wow, Goddard, this is a blast! And he's not even wearing a helmet! Oh, Jesus, that is so funny. I'm pretty sure he, like, he wouldn't even be able to get the first word of that sentence in. Oh, Jesus, I'm already doing terrible on this. So press the B, they don't explain it, but press the B button to fire laser beams, I guess? Uh, yeah gonna call it that and basically the meter on the left is the damage so don't want to lose that ow all right and <laughs> need to stop at this discarded space station and pick up some neutronium fuel canisters to super boost me to Twonkus. Better land away from those defense systems that are firing at the meteor storm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Looks like there is zero gravity here. One of those meteors must have knocked out the station's gravity system. A tether will stop me from flying off until I can think of something. All right, this is pretty cool. I have to use this tether to keep so me awesome. on the space station, but it will only get me so far. Woo! You see that? Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Anyways, collect this. Uh, gizmo. Please. What I can invent with this? Black. Oh wait. Uh, no wait. Hold on a second. Maybe I can use this oh, yeah, magnet green. somehow. Yeah. So once you see that green box, or wait. Yeah. You saw the green box. So that means you have something at the ready. As you can see, see that red circle around Jimmy? That's not what you want. This is what you want. Sneakers and magnet. Think. Think. A useful gizmo for this level particularly um, but only for this level uh, we actually really use this attract those sneakers with a powerful electromagnet these sneakers will stay firmly attached to any metal surface so now we are going to activate it cool now I don't need the tether yeah, let's get a battery better watch my step or I'll end up in orbit oh no some of the meteors are getting through the automatic defenses. Goddard, fly around and pick me up at the other end of the station. As you can see, Goddard is not even in the driver's seat and not even touching the wheel. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Do, 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 <laughs> that, the freaking sound effect is hilarious. Okay, so make our way up the stairs. Uh, let's see what we've got over here. I wonder what happens if I go up to this. Wait, whoops. It's no use. Okay. I can't get past these turrets. I have to shut off the laser somehow. Alrighty. So let's go in here to where. Uh. Okay. Um. So this part. <laughs> I, I've not memorized the order of this, folks, so wish me luck. I'm just going to button mash it and hope that I can get it as quickly as possible. Uh, X, eh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to hope that I freaking get it somehow. Fuck. Uh, oh, I got it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I literally just pressed th random buttons. Through. I don't even know how to do it. You just do it until it works, I guess. I don't know, man. So that's that. Okay, that has turned them on. Now there is nothing protecting the space station from the meteors. I better get to the fuel cells quickly. Alrighty, so let's see if I die on this part. <laughs> okay, alright, here we go. Will I get hit and die? <laughs> I have to get across those panels. Oh boy. Oh Look shit, I keep I keep thinking I'm no, playing another game. Panels aren't supporting my weight. Just made it. Great. Four to go. 
Now, if the sneakers run out, I'm pretty sure something... I don't know. I, I, you know, I'll probably just show it at the end. I don't know. Eh, I'll, yeah, I'll save it to the end, I guess, if I really want to show it off. But it is funny, uh, some deaths you can get in this game. I'll just get the good grade, I guess. I don't know. That was close! Just got out in time! And now, on to Twonkins! Yeah, I'll try. I might show something at the end. I don't know yet. But anyways, now we got more of this crap to deal with. Let's see how well I do on this. Oh, man, it's a lot harder. Not gotten hit yet. Oh man. Oh, oh whoa, holy shit, dude, no. That's not good. That is not good. And I survived. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> that was a bit uh interesting. There it is, boy! Twonk is three! The terrain looks a bit unstable, but I'll take us in for a nice, soft landing. Okay, and that wraps up Blast Off. Another A, okay. And now we've got level three Crater Capers. Jimmy Neutron in Crater Capers. All right, let's see that nice, soft landing. Well, not a smooth landing, but a landing just the same. Now, how are we going to find our way back after we collect our samples? Oh, I get it. When we're done exploring, we'll let the music guide us back to the ship. Good idea, boy. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Clock is three. We're finally here, Goddard. Adventure beckons. You can slide a little bit uh, on that, uh, the more bluer uh, ground. Yikes! Clockus is really unstable. I better be careful. Look at that awesome sky, though. Let's let's take a look at that, man. Look at that. It's awesome. Okay, we've got more Goddard upgrades up ahead. It looks like. So we'll have to go ahead and check it out. Just what I was looking for. Goddard can help me retrieve it from the ground. Dog likes to dig, especially the robot ones. This will upgrade Goddard's digging ability. Excavator mode. Okay, boy, excavate here. Do not worry, I'm not pressing any buttons right now. God is just doing the work, so but don't worry. The game does progressively get more challenging and more fun, of course, as we know. Good job, boy. These are just the beginning Still stages. Two mineral sites to find. Goddard should be able to help out here. Hey, looks like an upgrade pack for Goddard. Let's give it a try. If I throw this, Goddard will bring it back for me. Guess I could use it to have him break through things. Okay, boy. Fetch the bomb. Go, oh, boy. Good boy. Who's that good robot dog? Okay, so we got Goddard that. And we got this. A mineral. This looks like a job for Goddard. It's time to excavate. Okay, Goddard, excavate this. That's such a cool word to say, actually. <laughs> Just realizing that now. We've got red minerals now. So I, um, we collect this stuff that actually becomes more useful later on. Oh, well, let's see what this is. Good job, boy. Here's one mineral site to go. Super! An invention object! Alright, sweet. Uh, can I invent something? It's flashing blue, so that means I can. This doesn't look like a good idea. We have a diamond. You can scroll up and down. Remote control. Think, think! Right left! And we've got one of the, one of my favorites, actually. Uh, pro might be my favorite invention, but this is actually really cool. Refractor ray. 
By projecting light through a pure diamond, the resultant beam can be used to affect non-animated objects. So we'll be using that in about a couple minutes, actually. Goddard should be able to help out here. All right, so now we gotta fetch out the fetch. Fetch, <laughs> or... fetch, fetch. All right, so you press and hold the B button to in uh, increase the power of the throw. If so let's try that. Obviously, that was not powerful enough. So we're gonna have to try that again. And you have to wait for the thing to finish. There we go. Let's try this again. And here it goes. Right over the hole. Uh, right over the whatever the spider web, whatever you want to call it. Good job, Glass. boy. <laughs> Definitely not a spider web. Don't listen to what I just said. Oh, whoa. What is that? Okay. That's obviously the blue mineral. Let's collect whatever this thing is. This gizmo piece will come in handy. Alright, can we invent something? Gizmo? We can! We've got goggles, crystal... Sneakers and crystals will not work. Crystals is the only thing we have on this side. And yeah, so goggles and crystals it is. Let's see what we've got. We have... Spectra Warp Version 4? <laughs> the hell? These crystals seems... Wait, these crystals seems... What, whatever, to give off a strange glow, it should give an interesting result when viewed through goggles. So this is where kind of the uselessness of the gizmos comes in. Let's check it out. Whoa, cool! So as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything except give you a nice cool effect on your screen. So can it really be used? No, not really, but just showing it off just for coolness. Again. Most of the gizmos will not be useful, but there are a few of them that actually I really like and are very useful. So let's break out the refracto ray and bust this thing down. Three shots and boom! Right. So yeah, this thing is awesome. I mean, just listen to the sound it makes. I mean,. That's so awesome. I might want to collect the battery here. Nice. Now we're going to jump up. And here we go. Yes, a blue mineral. Goddard can help me now. Excavate. Okay, boy. Excavate here. Let's head back as if he knows where he's going. But I used to struggle with this a l this game a lot back when I was a kid. I could not find this. If you go to the end here, you're like, wait, what the hell? But you're supposed to see down here. This is a lot of fun, by the way. <laughs> or that looks a lot of fun. Until your face gets smashed in the ground and he gets all smile. He knows how to live life, man. Another A. Save game. Alrighty, save successful. Crater boss. Jimmy Neutron in Crater Boss. Oh god. My rocket! That monster's destroying my rocket! was close. I have to get to my ship. If that thing destroys it, I'll be stranded here forever. Well, that's pretty terrifying. Oh, shit. Right here. Gotta keep moving. Thank God this blaster ray can blast the rocks. Fuck. Ow. There. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, I'm 
pretty sure one smash from that monster should have destroyed his rocket, but eh, whatever. Video game lo logic, I guess. Save successful. Jimmy Neutron in School Days. All right, here's where the pace picks up a bit more, folks. It's getting exciting. Hey, guys! Hey, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Guys, you'll never believe what happened on Twonkus 3. A giant monster tried to destroy my rocket. He was absolutely huge with spikes on his head, these huge teeth, and we barely got the rocket started in time to escape. That's really cool, Jimmy. I gotta sit down. Yeah, that's real exciting. What's wrong with you two? I couldn't find any pets that don't make me sneeze. Yeah, and I got rejected from the school chorus because I'm terrible. Oh, gee, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, the monster was throwing boulders at my ship, so that... Hey, Jimmy, um, why is there a soft, squishy thing digging itself out of that tank of stuff? Huh? Well, would you look at that? It must be a life form indigenous to Twonkus 3. Oh, he's adorable. I'm gonna call him, um... Oh, I know, a Twonky. Can I keep him, Jimmy? Can I please, please, please? No, Carl. Keeping a space creature is a direct violation of scientific protocol. But it <laughs> might be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, as if something that cute could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no! What is that? I don't know. It looks like the Twonky's gone through some sort of metamorphosis. Guys, come on, guys. You're missing my solo. Ah, this idiot! Um, Jimmy, I don't think he's very cute and cuddly anymore. Oh, God. Ugh, well, that's disgusting. <laughs> he just wipes his mouth. After scientific examination, I have come to the conclusion that we should run! <laughs> the way they're running. Jenny, look out! <laughs> we'll go and try to find some help. Alrighty. So, let's mess around with some stuff in here. We got a mirror. There's no time for a makeover today. And you can't even see him in the mirror. So, it's kind of weird, but blueprints even. These plans need. should help. We're just getting him just for the, um, uh, the points. But anyways, let's see what these guys are up to. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey. That wasn't very nice. Oh, that's it. It's on. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it can't do anything yet. Wait, actually, maybe there is something we can do. Let's blast them. Okay, that seems to have no fan. Oh god. Alrighty. Wow, an invention piece. Okay, got that. There's a door here that we can go into. Let's see where we can go and open up this locker. I guess it is. Or a cabinet, a storage container, whatever. Or sure, I can make something cool with this invention object. Invention object. Ah, we can invent something. Let's go out here first. What we are about to invent is, eh, it's decent. Eh, you can't really use it that much, but either way, antenna, rubber band. Nope, no calculator. Yes, remote control. Think, think, right left. We have. Shrink ray. One of the finest events creates a temporary vortex field around the subject, shrinking them down to size. Unfortunately, it only lasts for a short time. Very well, then. So, therefore, pointing at this mirror. Wait, hold on. I bet my shrink ray can reflect off this mirror just like light. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh! Make for that doorway. Sweet. That was a tight one, literally. I don't know how you find me, boy, but it's always good to see you. Sweet, we have Goddard again. And 
And we've got another Goddard upgrade. Goddard has a locator scan mode. They could be useful in finding stuff. Alrighty, so all around these lockers, you're going to find stuff. When you see the sign and then you see Goddard give that question mark. Locate. Sniff around. If you try this on Goddard, you will not shrink. That's a cool sound. I just drained all my battery for no reason, but I don't care. <laughs> We've got... What the hell is that? It looks like bubblegum. Can we invent something? Because, uh... Yes, we can. I think this is the one, guys. This might be the one. But you know what? I will save that. For the next episode, actually. Because why not? Okay, wait, did I skip one? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna invent that in the next episode since we're approaching the end anyway. Got it. See what you can sniff out around here. Open up the locker, and we have. What the hell is that lotion? I don't know. Keep up the good work, boy. Another invention piece for my inventory. Okay, is there anything else we got here? Locate. Goddard? Fine. All right. Well, that looks Keep yummy. Up the good work, boy. This gizmo piece will come in handy. And I think that's it. Alrighty, guys. So. The next episode, we will head into the library and see what awaits us. So thank I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I've been SM72, Nick from Too Mad for Gaming. And I will see you guys later. Have a great day.